Hello everybody, this is Connie. I just got home. I decided I was gonna, I watched a mukbang video earlier with her eating Chinese food. And that just looked so darn good. So I thought that I would do the same. So this is what I have. I have an egg roll here. These are my own onions that I put on there because I like raw onion. Crab Rangoon. And this is what they look like. They don't look like great crab rangoon, but they're really good. And then um, plain chicken. And then some sort of a salad with it looks like um, celery and um, crab maybe. Maybe a crab salad. And some rice here in a cup. And I have sauce in a cup. And I dunk my stuff in there. Um, that's the way I like to eat it. I don't like it on the chicken beca already because it gets a little soggy in my taste, for my taste. So I'm going to put you up here. Hi. <laughs> put you up here um, while I eat this. And everything looks delicious. I'm going to have a crab rangoon right away. Very good. I like the crab rangoon. Get a piece of chicken here. Nothing smells better than walking into a Chinese restaurant. Anybody agree with that? I love the smells. Not a ton of food that I really like. I like the sesame chicken, and this is basically what this is. Mmm. Mmm, that's really good. That is really good. Too big of a swallow. Some rice. Dunk my egg roll a little bit. And I'm going to just eat until I'm full. This is only about half of my food that I got in the to go container because I fill it full because they charge you the same anyway. Oh, their egg rolls are really good. I wish I would have got two. I didn't really have room for two in my container. That sauce is really good. It's a mixture of Kung Pao chicken and sesame chicken sauce. And it, they're mainly the same thing, I think. I um, have to eat kind of slow. I can't really shove it in my mouth or I can't eat really fast because um, tell you a little story. I had a lap band surgery in 2008 to lose weight and it was um, put in wrong. I'm looking out my window, I'm sorry. It was put in wrong so it never really worked. But because it was put in wrong, it was up here, it was closing off. Instead of um, above my stomach, it was coming up into my esophagus and closing things off. So it, um, I threw up every single thing I ate. Even drinking water, I threw water up. This went on for a year basically starving myself to death. I lost 100 pounds. But it was because I was throwing up. It wasn't because of the lap band working. I would eat because I was still in that mindset, I think, that some nutrients are getting through. And 
I could still taste my food. Even though I had to throw it up here in a few minutes, I could still taste my food. I was in such a denial, you know, in that fat mindset, that I didn't realize I was lo losing that much weight until my pants, literally, I pulled them on, did them up, and they fell right back off. My jeans. They fell right back down to the floor. And that day, I, I sat and I cried so hard because I didn't even realize I'd been losing weight. And so I went to the store and, and, uh, I went to the store and started trying on pants two sizes or a size down every time. Still not believing. I was in a size 12 jeans. I went from a size 20, 22 down to a 12. Well, I was still throwing up. And the doctor said, you can't lose any more weight. You're getting too skinny. Which nobody's ever said to me ever in my life. It finally got so bad that they did decide they were going to unhook the lap band. So they unhooked it. Didn't work. I was still throwing up. I had several EGDs, if you know what that is, where they go in, they put you to sleep, and they put the tube down your throat. And they cut you in little slices across your belly and stick tubes in, or kind of like cameras in. And finally, they removed the lap band. They found out I had a hole like this in my belly. So it was supposed to be an in and out. I was supposed to just be a one day surgery. I was in there for eight days with the tube running through my nose. It was pretty bad. So uh, since then, I could eat and not throw up. And I gained it all back, every bit of it. I'm at my weight right now as I was when I started this journey. So I'm very self-conscious about my weight. I am. Um, keep forgetting about my rice. Should put a little bit on my plate. I'll put a spoonful of stuff on there. So anyway, I had an inter interview today, which I have got some news for you anyway. Let's start with the news. I was offered a job. I'm very happy. I had that interview this la last week with, um, it's Dakota Wesleyan University as a salad prep person where that person um, actually makes all the salads for their salad bar plus cuts up all the veggies and you know just takes care of the salad bar basically and they offered me the job on contention of my background check coming back so he that same day he sent me a sheet where I had to send in my background check it should be back within a week and this was Tuesday. Um, I have something on my record. Not a felony or anything like that. It's a misdemeanor, but it's still on my record. And um, I also have bad credit. So I called him. And I told him everything. I, full disclosure, you know. So anyway, um, he said it shouldn't matter. So that, I say so an awful lot. <laughs> so that, um, <laughs> anyway, um, eased my mind when he told me that.
In the meantime, I still have to um, do my job contact and meet with my job service person and all that stuff. I tell you what, I'm not getting my hopes up because I've had I had my hopes up so many times just to have them dashed that I don't want that to happen again just in case they wouldn't decide to hire me or something so I'm I don't have my hopes up So anyway, I went on another interview today. This one is, by the way, they'll pay me ten fifty an hour at my other job plus benefits, which is so awesome. And it's seven o'clock in the morning till about three o'clock in the afternoon. So this other job is at a truck stop, and it's a big truck stop. It's got a big 24-hour restaurant attached. Um, it's got a Subway restaurant, or Subway. And it's got the truck stop, it's got showers, it's got a little casino with, I think I have eight machines, eight or nine machines in it, stuff like that. And this is for assistant manager. Well, I met with the manager today He's going to call his district manager on Friday and um, so I'll meet with him like, I don't know, he's got to come in from somewhere. He doesn't live here in, in my town. So anyway, god dang little flies. Anyway, he's got to uh, call him. Then I will meet with him. Oh, this is really good. And find out what my rate of pay and stuff would be, which he figured it'd be anywhere from 12 to $14 an hour. The hours are... Uh, 3 to 11 though, at night. He's the only manager on duty during the day. Mmm. Lots of salary. Very good. Yum. Very good. <clears throat> Very good. Salad. Anyway, I think my, my interview went very well. Never done this kind of work except for when I worked for um, Jackson Hewitt um, Taxes. I managed that. So that's the only thing that I've been close enough to do this to. I'm not going to apologize, but please excuse the mess behind me. I need to get busy, especially if I'm going to start work next week, just in case. I need to get busy and start cleaning this joint up a little bit. I have a little bit, but not much. My anxiety has been through the rough, absolutely through the rough. My depression has been horrible. Doctor gave me some new, those Ambien, those new pills, aren't helping me one bit. I don't feel one tiny bit different. So anyway, what that's what those testing has done, you know, is doing to find out why my metabolism isn't absor absorbing these pills correctly. I think. I was hungry.
Anyway, I'm very happy. But I don't know. I don't want to have to choose. I'll just have to write myself up a pros and cons list. Mm. And see what's most important to me. Like one only pays ten fifty, but the other one will pay say twelve. That's a dollar and a half more an hour. So that'd be forty two fifty or whatever a week extra. Be hundred and sixty bucks a month extra. Plus there's bonuses at the second job. But I'd be a lot busier at the second job. And I'd be on my feet more often at the second job, I think. I'd be on my feet at the other job too, but I think that we could make exceptions to that. So I don't know. Let me tell you about both jobs and you guys tell me what you would do. I just want your opinions. And I will actually take your suggestions into account. First job, 7 a.m., 3 p.m., working five, Monday through Friday, 10.50 an hour, making salads, cooking. Tuition assistance if I want it. Something I have to find out. Would I have the summer off? Do I need to make a, amends for that? Probably have Christmas break off, which I wouldn't mind so much, really. It would be like a vacation. I just have to save up not buy makeup um, let's see uh, what else that's something I have to find out is is how much time would I have off a year if I have the summer off that's not gonna work for me unless they have something else I could be doing during the summer see that's what I have to find out Okay, anything else for... And full benefits as far as I know. Okay, job two. At 3 p.m. until 11 p.m. 12 to 14 dollars an hour. Full benefits, plus a bonus if, you know, I keep labor down, et cetera, et cetera, you know. Mm. Both of them on my feet. Um. Second job would be a lot of stocking. A lot of, you know, like beer and stuff being in a cold cooler. Second job, I'd have to wear a long sleeve shirt. Because you can't have any tattoos exposed. Um, I think the second job would be a lot harder on my body. Um... Mm, I love that salad. I wish I could have got more. Um, I 
I also, if I, the first job, if I would start next week, I'd have to let them know that I already have a couple of doctor's appointments with that psychologist because I'm not going to miss those. The one point is, my appointment would be at two o'clock. I would work and supposed to be working until three, so that isn't a whole lot. You know, it's like an hour and fifteen minutes or so that I'd need to take off early. Sorry, my nose just is going nuts. So anyway, you guys tell me or ask me any questions that you want. Questions, opinions, whatever. Now this is not saying that I would be offered the second job. Because I'm not even close to that yet. This was just an interview. And it's not saying that they couldn't rescind their offer on the first job because of my background check. Then today I found out because I worked that day and a half at that lawyer's office for the temporary agency, I had to reapply for, for food stamps, not food stamps, for um, what you call it, for unemployment, which I did. I didn't get my check today, so I went on, on site and it says 15 day hold. So I called him. And it's because of that working that day and a half, they have to make sure, they have to find out why I'm not still there. God forbid anybody to ever take my word for anything. Which I understand. But it still pisses me off because my landlord was here yesterday pissed off because I didn't have any money to give her. Now, I told her, no, not yesterday, the day before she was here. I told her yesterday or, the, or today I'd have her ch have money for her, and now I don't. She'll be calling me. Or coming over and knocking on my door. See, my depression just doesn't wants to ignore everything and not deal with it. Wants to cover my head in the sand, let's put it that way. Guys, I'm stuffed. I'm going to put the rest of this away for later. I hope you liked our little chit chat. <clears throat> Please give me your opinions or your comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. So I will talk to you very soon. Bye bye.